Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has made a surprise trip to NATO headquarters in Brussels. He's in search of more arms and air defences to help his country through another wartime winter. And this is his first visit since Russia's full-scale invasion in February last year. Mr Zelensky says that he's coming cold. The coming cold months would be one of Ukraine's biggest challenges as it braces for a barrage of Russian attacks on power stations and other infrastructure. You all understand the principles of effective defense, and it is the defense that does not leave the enemy a chance to rest, recover, choose any other tactics. Tactics. Russia has lost the initiative for today, and we are putting pressure on it. We are. It is Ukrainian courage and your support that determine what is happening on the battlefield. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin has pledged more support for Kyiv in its fight against Moscow as he opened NATO's meetings. The U.S. has declared a fresh $200 million defense package for Ukraine. It includes air defense munitions and weapons to counter Russian drones. For more, Alex Cardia joins us. He's live from the NATO headquarters in Brussels. Alex, the United States has reaffirmed its support for Ukraine in this war, but do we expect challenges, perhaps, to the continuity of that aid, given the political chaos that we're seeing in Congress, the eruption of the crisis in the Middle East as well? Well, that's certainly a concern that was expressed by Volodymyr Zelensky, the Ukrainian president. He was asked in a press conference with the Belgian prime minister whether or not he was worried about that attention and that support uh, shifting elsewhere. He said, well, we asked our partners if their support uh, would be maintained. We asked them if that support would continue, and they said it would we will see. And that was a clear indication that the Ukrainians are concerned about that shift uh, in support. Now, some NATO officials uh, have told me that actually it's a little bit of a different kind of conflict. So even if support went to Israel or went uh, to that area, it would not necessarily diminish NATO's ability or the Allies' uh, ability to support Ukraine. So that's certainly one of the concerns. And as you said, that package of support announced uh, today from the United States, $200 million, uh, including high mar ammunition, including 155 millimeter rounds for artillery and and a variety of other equipment which the Ukrainians have been asking for, 100 million from the United Kingdom earlier today, and also Belgium announcing that it would deliver F-16s to Ukraine by 2025. The sentiment from NATO officials clearly is that at the moment there is an ability to do both. The other, uh, and it's an unfortunate wording, but the other possible silver lining for Ukraine is that the Biden administration is trying to get uh, military support funding through Congress by saying it's going to be military support funding for Israel and Ukraine at the same time. And that may uh, unlock some of the Washington grin lock that has made that future aid uncertain. But we'll have to see in the next few weeks, and the next few days, exactly how that pans out. Alex, thank you for that update from NATO headquarters. Alex Cardia there reporting for us live from Brussels.